All right, I am back with another Thread Up mystery unboxing video. I normally do these videos every Sunday. This box is from Phoenix, Arizona, and I believe it's a name brand handbag box. We're gonna get into it and I'll tell you for sure. So if you saw the title of this video, and if you watch regularly with my videos, or if you talked to me recently, you might kind of know what that title was all about. I have been really um, just thinking about these boxes and my business and the business model that I want to do. So lately in the thrift stores, I've been going to um, thrift stores or consignment stores, and I'm looking for things that I can either A, make sell for at least $30 or B, make a really quick profit. So a really quick turnaround time for me would be in a week or less. And what's been happening with these boxes, some of these boxes, is that I have not been making very much profit. They're really fun. They're really fun and I like them. I like doing these videos. I know you guys like watching these videos. They are normally my best performing videos of the week. But if I really take a step back and think about what is best for my business, spending $100, now they have charged shipping $110 for five items every single week. Is that really good for my business? No, not really. So the plan moving forward is I am definitely gonna get designer boxes anytime they come up because the designer boxes almost always are amazing. I've made some really, really high profit sales off of those boxes. The name brand handbags, sometimes the coach, sometimes if I get the vintage coach purses, um, but for the most part, I am not going to be doing these videos every week. So if you like them, I'm sorry. I hope you don't unsubscribe. I'm still gonna be doing three videos a week. I think I might try to do thrift with me's. Um, I will definitely keep doing what sold on Friday. And then I will also do similar videos like I did the last Tuesday where I tell you my cost of goods and what a current sales price was for that item or kind of like what I could sell it for. So. If you're new here, I just talked for like two and a half minutes without introducing myself. My name's Heather and I'm a full-time reseller. I live in Council Bluffs, Iowa, middle of the country. I thrift mostly in Omaha, Nebraska, and I go by the Canary Closet on all of my social media platforms. So that's what's going on. So this is gonna be possibly the last mystery unboxing for a little while. If I get any more of those designer boxes or I decide randomly to do another mystery unboxing, I will still post it. I will unbox it for you guys and you can check out what I got. So. I think this is a name brand. I don't see my um, little paper anywhere. So let me give you a top look. Please consider subscribing if you haven't yet and you like reseller content. If you already have, please give this video a thumbs up and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got here. So this is a normal item in these boxes. This is the brand Kate Spade. Although this one actually, I feel like is very cute and very modern. It's a black and tan color block, small leather, crossbody purse. It has an adjustable handle that can be removed. It has a pocket back here with a beige lining. Ellie, let's not chase the cats. I have a dog, Ellie, and she likes to chase cats. Okay, it says Kate Spade right in here. This is actually like super cute and super nice, and it's much better than any of the Kate Spades that I normally get. So I'm actually really excited about this. There's a little tag in here. I don't know if it'll have a style number on it where I can look up. Otherwise, I'll try to do Google Lens. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with this um, because usually the Kate Spades are outdated, old, or kind of stained. So yay for that. I almost like want to keep that for myself, but I don't know if I will. Okay, let's move. Let's keep moving. Here we go. Another Kate Spade. This is a black patent leather chain handle, little like mini bag. Um, it's very small. I don't know what to say about that. It kind of has a, oh yeah, it's a magnetic closure, black and white printed interior. Here is the Kate Spade logo in there. So this one does seem like an older style, but it's cute. It does have some numbers and letters in here. So I might be able to look that up to look up a style. There's a little bit of like, not really smudging, but like if you get really close, you can tell it's not like perfectly shiny but i don't know i still think this is cute maybe a little more for a formal outfit or dress or something like that a dance a party so that's number two um this is interesting it's colorful see i get a ton of kate spade in these boxes 
And Kate Spade does not sell that well for me, although this is very interesting and cute. It's kind of like this plastic. Uh, I don't even know. what That's not floral, like a leaf print maybe little bag. I'm guessing it might be like a makeup bag or a travel bag. It has all of these clear compartments. There's one here and there's one here. So it is cute. I just don't really know how much this would go for. This probably has to be a makeup bag, right? I'm guessing. Um, if it was cuter, in my opinion, like more chill, I might keep it for myself for traveling, but this is like a little loud for me. Uh, but that's okay. It's still cute. Am I gonna get a box full of Kate Spade? Okay, oh, and the answer is no. <laughs> um, the next item we have here is this Dooney and Burke. This is a tan white leather trim tote. Um, yeah, this kind of feels like a coated leather. First I thought it was kind of like a, uh, I don't know. I was gonna say like raffia, like straw, but it's definitely like smooth feeling. Uh, we do have some staining on the back. There is a spot right here and there's some like kind of all over staining in the bottom if you guys can see that. So that's an issue. It's probably not gonna come out. Oh, and yeah, like all over right here. So that sucks. Um, red interior. If you guys are interested in buying anything, please message me and I'll try to work out a deal with you. Here's the red interior with the white trim, Ellie. You need to stop whining. She wants to go outside, but Dustin and Ryan are mowing and I don't want to let her out while they're mowing or she'll just attack the mower. Dooney and Burke. So Dooney and Burke, you want to look for, let me find it, this little tag inside that'll help authenticate it. Uh, yeah, so this is, would have been cute if it didn't have stains. I'm gonna have to sell it low to move quickly. And honestly, if I'm like over some of these purses that I've gotten in these boxes and I've been trying to hold out on a higher price, I need to just let them go for lower because I'm trying to just like slowly revamp my store or my closet. So it's like, get rid of the crap like that. Okay, and the last one is this Michael Kors. This is a really big pebbled leather Michael Kors purse. It has the bag charm right here. It says Michael Kors on the front in gold. Removable, adjustable crossbody strap. Um, a little bit of marks on it. You can see kind of just throughout random little marks. So definitely has been used a good amount. It's got two side pockets. I wish I could find something cool, but I'm not thinking we're going to. Uh, beige interior, lots of pockets. We've got this little thing for your keys and Michael, Michael Kors actually, which in my experience that it hasn't ma mattered too much. I'm sorry for my phone in the background. I left it on the table and I don't feel like getting up. Uh, yeah, so here we go. So here's the thing and here's what's helping me like make my decision. Would I pay? Okay, it's $110 for five. So that's 22, 21 something, you know, 22 bucks, let's say for any of these. No, I mean, I don't even know if I would pay five for this. I don't know. I don't like cleaning up bags. And sometimes Michael Kors can just sit for me. I wouldn't pay anything for this because of the stains. If it didn't have stains, I might pay five to maybe 10, depending on comps. I don't think I'd pay anything for this. I don't think I would, I don't think it's going to sell very well. I don't know. Maybe a dollar. Am I being like extremely like picky now? I just feel like I'm trying to like, Kate Spade just sits for me. It sits so long. I might pay a couple bucks for this, but again, still, I don't know if it's gonna sit for a year. I don't wanna buy it. This is the only one that I feel like I would confidently, but I wouldn't pay 20 bucks. I would maybe pay 10. Cause I feel like it's got this like minimalist, like monogram type of look that's actually cute. That's the only one I feel like. So let me know your guys thoughts on this whole decision that I have made. I feel like most of you guys will agree with me if you really think about it for business wise. I did it for so long for fun and I really, really have gotten some great pieces in some of these bags, but more times than not, I think I am not, I don't think I've ever lost money on a box because there's always been one or two like good ones, but there's definitely been times where I think I broke even or just like made a little bit of profit and I'm like 
just kind of over that. So, okay. Also, update on Grace. If you guys have been praying for her, thank you so much. I have a kind of urgent prayer request if you're seeing this, although by the time you see it, hopefully this problem will have been solved. They flew from Omaha to Charlotte and then they flew to Miami. They spent the night in Miami and then they left the next day to go to St. Vincent. When they got to St. Vincent, all of their checked bags were not there. They were back in Miami still, I guess. Sucky. So Grace is on her third day in a row of no shower stuff. The same clothes that she wore to the airport when I dropped her off. Um, so not really the worst thing. I'm like, maybe God's using this to like teach you guys something like how good you guys really have it. Luckily she had some people in her group that brought shower stuff in their carry-on. So she's able to borrow some, but okay. Uh, my battery ran out my memory card. So I'm just going to finish up saying really praying that they get their luggage back as soon as possible. Um, because they are going to be starting to do their little five day clubs with the kids this week. And they have supplies in there that they need for crafts. They brought an amp with them. They brought some socks. They need to do some work. So lots of stuff in those bags. It's important. So please pray they get their luggage back. I'll update you guys on Thursday with my next video or on Instagram as well. So thank you so much for watching and all of your support. I will see you guys on Tuesday with another video. Bye.